is what you've been waiting for in Vogue. Up next, when we return to Video Soul. My guests today make up one of the hottest debut acts on the music scene. And with their a cappella harmony, it's easy to see that these girls can sing, and they're gorgeous, too. Please help me welcome and Vogue to Video Soul. Hey! Hi! How are y'all doing? Fine, Hi. thank you. Oh, you even talk in harmony. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know who you all are, but for our viewing audience, why don't we go ahead and introduce yourselves individually, and we'll start with you. Okay, I'm Cindy Heron. And I'm Maxine Jones. I'm Terry Ellis. And I'm Dawn Robinson. And this is In Vogue. <laughs> now, I was reading your bio, and something that really struck me was the fact that people who sing so well together, perform so well together, you kind of get the feeling that, oh, they go back way, way back. They're childhood friends. They hung out, you know, on the playground together, played hopscotch. And actually, you all got together just about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. But coincidentally, a lot of you in the group had met other members way, way back when. So who, who wants to elect, be elected as uh, telling the en vogue story from the beginning? Well, I'll tell you how. <laughs> okay, no, but it's talking to us. Here you go. I'll tell you uh, how Terry and I and Max met. Okay. I met Terry a few years back in Texas when we both have a mutual friend, Gary Reeves, who took me to Texas to audition for her group. And um, also, I met Maxine when she and I did a theater production in San Francisco called Green Christmas. And I never knew that I'd be working with either, either of them later. And then all of a sudden, a couple years later. Now, I know also Dawn, Dawn. somebody met in, wait, the beauty shop? Yeah. yeah. The getting beauty that, shop. Dawn and Maxine in yeah. the beauty shop getting their heads busted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what happened. Who wants to do that? Well, I walked in, and I was getting my hair done. Mm -hmm. And um, a friend of both of ours, the guy that was doing my hair and the guy that works with Maxine, used to work with Maxine, uh, introduced us kind of like that. Well, she sings, yes, yeah, Steve Vaughn. Uh, she sings and she sings, and why don't you guys sing something together? But I never got her name, you know, and it oh, was you're just, kidding. yeah. We just sat down and did a little thing together, and we were nervous, and it was like, okay, bye, you know. <laughs> but I never thought I'd see her again, and like almost a year and a half later, here we are. That is amazing. Yeah. Now, you all were put together by, um, well, it was an audition, I guess, mm -hmm. in California, on mm -hmm. the West Coast, by Foster and McElroy, who, by the way, wrote the theme song to video. So, you know, ooh la la. Ooh la la. <laughs> so they were auditioning for. Were they specifically looking for four young ladies, or were they just trying to see what they could catch? Actually, it was three. Yeah. Yeah. It was supposed oh. to be a three. Yeah, mm -hmm. three young ladies, but they couldn't let us go. Yeah, but, you know, so well together. Yeah. yeah. They kept all four. Yeah. Now, you have such beautiful a cappella voices, and a cappella, of course, means um, you don't need any music behind you because you all sound so good. Now, was it, it wasn't an a cappella audition, though, was it? No. no it Actually, it was one of the songs on the album, Waiting okay. on You. And it was also on FM Squared album, Denny and Tommy's album. Which is actually the audition. Oh, it's the actual, it was actual yeah. You're kidding. It's a yeah. song we you all were that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> took it right from the audition. Well, did you have That's stiff fun. competition? Were there like hundreds of young ladies there? Not that day. Actually, no. previously, I think there were. No, I'm not sure if it were hundreds yeah. or not. They auditioned a lot of women before that. But on the day that we auditioned, it was all of us together that yeah. Yeah. showed up the same day. Showed up on the oh, same day. That yeah. is so great. Now, you all can sing. You're gorgeous. And I also understand mm -hmm. that your album, your debut album, is really um, a collaborative effort because you have some maybe co-producing, co-writing credits on it. Yeah. Co-writing. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you all do a little bit of writing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. What do you find the most challenging, the music or the lyrics? The lyrics. <laughs> the lyrics. The lyrics are hard. Yeah, the lyrics. It, really, it takes a lot of thought, you know, to put a song together. Mm -hmm. You don't want to just write about simple things. You want to kind of get into yourself and think about what you're really saying, mm -hmm. what you want to say. Well, I'll tell you a song that has some wonderful lyrics is the song that we're going to see in just a minute called Hold On. Now, the first time I heard this, because I don't have a stereo system, I always say this, I'm driving in my car and I'm listening to the radio and I hear these beautiful voices melding together, and I said, church time! Yeah. I was, it was so gorgeous, and then you all mm -hmm. got into the, the music, and I was like, this is going to be a hot group. So before we go to the video, can we get just a little bit of a sample of your voices blending beautifully without music? Sure. Can you do that? Okay. Please go ahead, go it, do it. He was a sexy lover boy from our Chicago way. He'd had a hip-hop style no one could take a 
way. He was the top man of his craft. But then his number came up, and he was gone with a draft. He's in the army now, a rapid revelry. He's the boogie-woogie hip-hop boy of Company B. And with that, <laughs> what other introduction, uh, introduction do we need? How about some En Vogue? Well, hold on, right here.